something like this. We're whales on the moon. We carry a harpoon. Space cows and amoeba. Before 2.7 patch, the space cows were just window dressing and the space amoeba were just there to be incredibly annoying, but also to give you some of the best strike craft in the game. However, as of 2.7, all of these things have changed. Yes. It's wonderful. Space whaling is now a thing. Now we're gonna go over both factions today. We're gonna start it off here with the wonders of the space amoeba. Now the space amoeba spawned in a brand new system called Amor Alveo, and it's a wonderful system. It has a load of resources in it, including the wonders of volatile moats, and you definitely want to get your hands on it if you can. Now once you make first contact and finish the project for the space amoeba you have the option of going for easy prey in which case that you will be able to uh, kill them off and every single fleet that you destroy will net you 1000 energy which is a rather significant amount or you can start a research project which will give you access to a bonus evasion modifier of a five percent which by itself is uh, may not sound sound like all that much but in the long run this may actually help quite a lot and of course you can get access to the wonders of the amoeba strike craft which in my personal opinion are still some of the best ones in the game at least all the way up to tier two be sure to make uh, do good make good use of them if you manage to get your hands on them strike craft are a lot better these days and especially in combination with cruisers well let's put it this way they are rocking now amoebas by themselves they have a interesting damage profile they are focused on shields as well as hull they do 25 percent additional damage to shields and their strike craft well they penetrate all shields easily which means that they will do all the damage straight to the armor and the hull itself but of course if you decide to go and hunt them well let's put it this way you're gonna need to bring some destroyers with flak just to take care of the joys that is of course their uh, tiny flagella amoeba because you want to knock them out of the sky because you know 100% shield damage or at least penetration is rather annoying but the system itself Almor Alveo Almor Alveo has about 13,000 fleet power reaching up to 14k of uh, stuff inside of it and you can take him out relatively easily in order to get access to all those resources of course you can also go down the track of the amoeba pacification program and just move in and take all control to yourselves and if anybody else decides to move within your empire and they didn't go down this track well the amoeba will still attack them of course by the time warfare becomes a thing and they decide to move through your systems well amoeba shouldn't really be a problem anymore the damage profile is rather limited let's put it this way but of course if you're going to start hunting you can get up to 8,000 energy from almor aveo all by itself which is a nice little bonus but of course you would have to go ahead and make their entire species extinct because this is of course their breeding grounds yeah 104 um you know individual amoeba in these systems spread out spread out over eight fleets is a pretty chunky bunch so please be aware of that so if you decide to go after these amoeba make sure that you go ahead and bring a bunch of armor and make sure that you take down their armor quickly because that's what they have. They don't have any shields because, well, they are organic creatures. And that by itself uh, should be something to note. Then we move on to the big one, the, the whale of space, the Moby Dick of our time. It is, of course, the Space Cows. Now, I will probably completely butcher the pronunciation of the quote-unquote Latinization of their name. It's the Chijanki, and of course, they spawn in Tijanavec. And Tijanavec is a wonderful system with four whole gas giants at each net six whole society research something that doesn't really happen all that much in the past we had swirling shadows which would net you six society research but that doesn't exist anymore well it has been nerfed down to three and it's really the only part in space where you can get this amount of society research it is a rather massive chunk now whales by themselves are rather interesting because you can whale them that's right you can shoot big harpoons in them and blow up a warhead and bring them home and for every single one that you take with you you can earn a reasonable amount of money yeah 
That's right, a rather large amount of money, up to almost 50,000 energy, and on top of that, you will get about 5,000 of the Wonders of Gas to boot with that, which means that you can use all the whales to uh, fuel your research economy and also your energy economy, but the big trade-off here is is that you will forever destroy their breeding grounds now space cows by themselves do 100 percent shield damage but they have a massive reduction in armor damage up to 75 percent and having no shields basically means that if you go into those systems make sure you have a ton of armor on your ships but also rock those plasma weapons so that you can uh, eat through them very very quickly just be aware of that. But yeah, 50,000 energy to take down a bunch of space cows is a huge, huge deal. Now, of course, you can go into the galactic community and say, look, we don't want you to hunt any space cows. We are xenophiles or we are pacifists. We don't want any of this on our yard. So please don't. Please don't murder these wonderful beings. Uh, yeah, you can you can push a resolution forward to uh, make sure that doesn't happen. You can, of course, do the same thing for the amoeba as well. And anybody who still continues to do that will make the rest of the galactic community very, very upset, which in turn means they can get quote-unquote denounced and all the joys that come with that space whaling yeah it is profitable now highly profitable who knew that uh, this would be a thing after all those years of set dressing with the space cows and the amoeba wow but yeah just to recap, Amoeba, they are great for getting one some of the best early strike craft in the game and making sure that they are pacified early on is very useful in a war scenario. And of course, the Space Cows, in addition, will add a lot of energy to your pool as well as a gas that you can then use for research and or trading and all the joys that come with that. What do you think about this change? Do you like this, Almar Oveo, as well as Tijana Vec? They're beautiful systems. Uh, do you like this? Uh, do you like this? Is this a window dressing for you? It adds flavor, it adds, adds potential RP, and for those min-maxers out there who can get all the energy that they would ever require, yeah, leave your comments below. In the meantime, though, I would like to thank all my patrons for making this video possible. If it wasn't for you, I'd be outside somewhere, probably in the woods, maybe cutting down a tree instead of making YouTube videos. Then again, we are currently doing some social distancing, so I'm not actually leaving the house, so there is that. Also, if you're new to this channel, well, we have got a brand new tutorial series out there that lists all the basics of Stellaris, and you can go and check that out in the boxes on your screen right now allow you to go immediately to them because they do cover a whole bunch of things about the new update including the joys of the new edict system so be sure to go and check that out in the meantime though thank you so much for watching and until next time take good care of yourselves and as always save the whales that didn't do anything to you <laughs>